practice for section 5-6. In this first section, they want you to write a congruence statement for each pair of triangles represented. So if you're writing a congruence statement, that means these triangles are congruent. So you don't really have to check to see if they are congruent. You're basically just lining up the corresponding parts. That's the exercise. So a congruent statement for triangles looks like this. We're just going to fill in the letters. So we have angle C, angle A, and segment AB. That means you have three letters together, C, A, and B. So one triangle is triangle C, A, B. We're going to match that up with the other triangle. C goes with X. A goes with Z, and B goes with R. That's all you do in that section. It's pretty simple. Next section, name the additional congruent parts needed so that the triangles are congruent by the postulate or theorem indicated. Now, this is a different type of exercise. They do not give you enough information to show that the triangles are congruent. But if you could pick one more pair of parts that were congruent, then they would be congruent. You want to make them congruent by this method. So you want to use angle, angle, side here. So notice how we have congruent sides and congruent angles, but we don't have the second pair of congruent angles. Where would you put them for them to be congruent by angle, angle, side? Well, I need to put congruent angles in these spots. That way my congruent sides are non-included. Number six, once you use angle, side, angle. And we can't do that because we only have one pair of congruent angles, one pair of congruent sides. But if we had a second pair of congruent angles, we could make them congruent by angle, side angle. Just make sure your congruent sides end up being included. So make sure your congruent angles go in these spots. That way you have angle, side, angle in both of them. Okay, last section. Determine whether each pair of triangles is congruent. We have shortcuts like side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. If it's not possible to prove they're congruent, right, not possible. We've got two triangles. We have three pairs of congruent sides. Those triangles are congruent by side, side, side. They must be the same size and shape because those parts are congruent. Number 10. We have congruent angles here. We also have perpendicular segments here, which give you 90 degree angles, which are congruent angles as well. And you have congruent sides in between. That's angle, side, angle. Number 11, we have two pairs of congruent sides and we have a pair of congruent angles. So that could be side angle side. But notice where the congruent angles are. The congruent angles are not included between the congruent sides. So it's this guy. Ass does not show the triangles are congruent. That doesn't mean they're not congruent triangles. It just doesn't prove that they're congruent triangles. So you have to write not possible. They still could be congruent. Because if these triangles were congruent, these, these marks would be here. You would just have more information. You would know that more pairs of parts are congruent too. Uh, last one, number 12. We have two pairs of congruent angles, and we have a pair of congruent sides. So it's one of these. Where are the congruent sides? Are they in between or not? They're not in between. They're not included. And they're on the corresponding non-included side. This is angle, angle side. 